What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So most of the details for the upcoming Physical Kid Boot Extreme Z Battle event has come out now. I thought it'd be fun to go over all the details together in today's video. So why don't we just jump right into it. Here we go. There's nothing too crazy here. Honestly, some pretty standard stuff if you ask me. Starting with level 1, you get 1 Bronze Kid Boot Medal, 270 Small Physical Orbs and a Dragon Stone. Level 2, the Medal, 270 Medium Physical Orbs and a dragon stone level three metal 20 large physical orbs and a stone and it pretty much follows this pattern for all 30 levels of the event so let's just move down here level five you get an extra physical grand kai as well at level 10 you get all three types of physical orbs as well as a grand kai level 15 you get two extra grand kais level 20 all three types of orbs two extra grand kais of 25 two grand kai's and finally on level 30 you get all three types of physical orbs as well as three physical grand kai's and anything beyond level 30 you know level 31 level 35 level 100 you're getting one platinum hercule statue per clear for an extra 1.5 million penny and finally by completing all of the first 30 levels for the first time you can expect to get 15 bronze medals 40 silver medals 30 gold medals 30 rainbow medals which should be enough to fully extreme z awaken your physical kid boo and in terms of the physical orbs we're getting 5200 small 4000 medium and 360 large which is enough to fully rainbow a physical unit take it from 0% to 100% and still have some orbs left over so just a stupid amount of physical orbs and in addition to that, we get 11 physical Grand Kai's and 30 Dragon Stones. Honestly, I think the rewards are pretty sweet. Can't complain about that at all. Down here, we have some additional information about the event. You are unable to use Dragon Stones to revive or continue if you are KO'd in the event. Pretty standard for Extreme Z battle events. Characters from the Pure Saiyans category take less damage, mitigate kid boost damage reduction, and cause increased damage. So. We definitely want to bring a pure saiyans team if possible and of course this is only available on jp but this event is coming to jp first so by the time it comes to global i'm sure we'll have ssb vegeta as well as the pure saiyans category there too so no worries for global players however they won't be able to bypass kid boost damage reduction against specific types so i believe what this means is that if you're bringing like a pure saiyans unit that's also int which is weak against physical then it won't be the full damage that most pure saiyans category units will be able to do um, note allies that are not part of the effective category and also not of the effective type will have to face both damage reductions so if you are not um, using like a super sdr and also not using a pure saiyans category unit if they're neither of those then they'll do drastically reduced damage um, the stages cost zero stamina until you beat them. After that, they cost stamina to replay. It makes sense. By replaying certain levels checkpoints, you get additional rewards. And uh, the last thing is that you cannot bring any items. So here, there's a mission section, and as you can see, it's completely blank because this wiki is still a work in progress. So there's some things that they're missing, but I can guarantee that you can expect some missions for clearing certain levels in the event, and also for Extreme Z Awakening. The Kid Boo in total, I can probably expect something like 5 to 10 extra stones for missions, maybe more than that, maybe less. I don't know, but definitely some extra stuff for missions, so that's on the way. And that's pretty much all the information I have. Actually, no, no, there is a little bit more information about the event that I found on a Reddit post by user ForestDB. It's on my phone right now. And he said that Kid Boo will be weak against Super SDR and Super AGL. So those are the two types that are effective against him in this event. If you use units that aren't in the pure saiyan category or the above mentioned types, they'll have to face both of Kid Buu's damage reduction effects, which we saw in the additional informations. But he did a little calculation here. So for context, LR Goku Black with a 2 million attack stat will only do about 140,000 damage to Kid Buu. So crazy, crazy reduced damage. Like you definitely want to bring either a pure saiyan's category team or at the very least super STR or super AGL units. And last but not least, Devilman will not be effective beyond level 10. So um, unfortunately for those of you who are bringing Devilman into Extreme Z battle events like SJ3 Goku or Broly or whatever to try to nuke, um, you can't do that anymore beyond level 10. And honestly, I don't understand why they did that. Like, 
If someone is so committed to clearing the event that they're willing to take Devilman in over and over again to these stages and get his super off every single time, which is not easy, and just like hope for that 1% chance that his passive will proc and insta kill the boss, like if you're willing to do that over and over again for every single level that you can't beat, I think you deserve to actually get the medals and Extreme Z Awaken in your unit because it takes a lot of dedication, man. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. And for one of those people, yo, props to you. More power to you. And I, I think it sucks that bad I did this. But at the end of the day, I don't make the decisions. You know, what can you do? I guess they wanted to make this event a little bit harder, a little bit more exclusive for people that had the units to actually clear it. So there you have it. Devil Man, no longer effective. Rip Devil Man. <laughs> But that's all the information I have for this event right now. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the changes for the unit from its base form or its original form to the Extreme Z Awakened form. So over here we have the max stats of a fully Extreme Z Awakened Physical Kid Boo at Rainbow Status. Shout out to my underscore FGC on Twitter for providing this information for me. So as you can see, very, very high HP, 21,475. Attack is good too, 16,064, and decent defense, 10,203, so overall, very good stats. And now, we're actually on Gaming with Talon's Twitter account, so thank you so much to Talon for providing this information for us. Now, once you Extreme Z Awaken Kid Boo, his passive will change to, if HP is 80% or above, everyone gets key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50%, and if HP is 79% or below, everyone gets attack and defense plus 30%. So he's still primarily a support unit, but if you guys aren't aware, his old passive was, if HP is 80% or above, everyone gets attack and defense plus 50%, so no key. And also, if you went below 80%, then you just got no support buff at all, which kind of sucked. So. Now, he is a support unit no matter what. Of course, it is a bit of a lower buff, below 80%, but it's still a really good buff. You know, 30% attack and defense is a really good support skill. So overall, this makes him a lot, lot better as a support unit. And also, his super attack will go to an immense damage multiplier from supreme damage multiplier and lowers defense. And last but not least, we got some information about his leader skill as well, which I believe is... The first of its kind, it's a very unique leader skill. There, there might be other units out there like him, but not that I can remember or recall off the top of my head. So let me know if you guys know any other units that have similar leader skills. But his leader skill is all types keep plus three, HP and defense plus 50%, and the higher the HP, the higher the attack stat given as the leader skill up to a maximum of 80%. So essentially, if your team is at full HP, then his leader skill will provide 80% attack, and the lower the HP you have, the less attack given by the leader skill, okay? So, overall, still not a good leader skill. <laughs> you still probably won't be running him uh, as a leader for most teams, I'm guessing, unless you're their new, fairly new player without 120 leads or category leads or the super or extreme leads, but um, it's not the best leader skill. But it is unique in the sense that it changes, like the attack it gives changes depending on how much HP you have, which I don't know if any other unit in the game has that. So that's kind of cool. And that's pretty much all the information I have about this Extreme Z Awakening event as well as the Kid Boo himself. Hope you guys found the video useful. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it also hit that notification bell to let youtube know that you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content because they've been they can be kind of dumb sometimes and they don't like to notify my subscribers of my uploads super annoying but just hit that notification bell and you'll be good to go but that's all from me today hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out